We used this robot arm to identify, grab, and sort different colored balls. Hello everybody, and welcome to Team 19's final robotic arm video demonstration for RBE 3001. But wait, how do you even get a robot arm to do this in the first place? First, we need forward kinematics, so that if we move each joint to a certain angle, we know where the tip of the robot arm is. To figure that out, we use the DH method. These handsome lads are Jock Denovit and Richard Hardenberg, the creators of the DH method, and they help us solve forward kinematics. We love Jock and Richard on this channel. Next, we solve inverse kinematics. With this, the robot arm can get to any reachable position by calculating the joint configuration to get there. But there's one more missing piece. That's where computer vision comes in. This is how the robot knows where to go. The robot gets an image from the camera and undistorts it. Now, we remove background noise with a mask of the checkerboard. We also use the HSV color space in MATLAB to find pixels in the image that match the colors of the balls. If we find a large clump of pixels that are all a certain color, then congratulations, the robot has found a ball. Now that we know this, let's go back and watch the robot in action. It uses computer vision to find each red, orange, yellow, green, or gray ball on the checkerboard. It uses inverse kinematics to determine the position of each ball, and it uses trajectory planning to get to each ball's position. In addition, the robot can follow the ball as you move it across the board. You can see what the robot sees in the top left and how the robot arm always stays above where the ball is. And it can even beat us in chess.